The Indus River Valley was a way for transportation and navigation of trade. Due to its extremely fertile soil, irrigation was used. Like older civilizations preceding Indus in Egypt and Mesopotamia, these ancient people farmed and allowed their irrigation systems to increase food supply and stimulate population growth. The people of Indus prospered on the foundations of an agricultural-based system of irrigation, maintained by floods. Crops planted in this fertile soil included wheat and six-row barley, melon seeds, oil crops like sesame and mustard, and dates. As the population began to grow in the Indus River Valley due to the irrigation systems, establishments of cities began. Two major cities developed along the river valleys of the Indus, Ravi, and Sulij, just beneath the Himalayan mountains in modern-day Pakistan and northeast India. These settlements began near the Indus River because of fertile soil and dependability. Though these two cities have been excavated and exposed to the world, much is still unknown of the culture. The Indus River would annually overflow in these two cities spilling and pouring onto the soil, making it quite fertile. Water, coming from the Himalayas, carved out the vast Indus River system. As the rapidly running mountain streams reached the plains of the Indus, they branched out into seven great rivers. These rivers converged midway down the valley to form the Indus River. The streams coming from the Himalayas are fed by monsoons. The mountain streams carry large amounts of rich soil to these plains, constantly enlarging them and giving them the potential for extensive cultivation. The Indus is only one of many river systems in the Indian subcontinent formed by melting snow and monsoon rains, but it was the first to nurture a civilization.